Will you please welcome former club volunteer and club director at Anderson Club, Miss Shauna Berman. Good evening, and thank you for joining us at the Stand Up For Kids Gala. It is an honor to be speaking tonight to share the incredible impact that the Boys and Girls Club of the Greater Conejo Valley has had on my life, and more importantly, on the lives of the children in our community. I was originally planning on sneaking in the back during cocktail hour to hear Gisela's speech. We, going, being your director and going through the Youth of the Year process was a bonding experience, so when Greg and Leslie called and asked if I would speak tonight, it was the best of both worlds. My journey with the Boys and Girls Club began at age 15 when I entered its doors as a volunteer, driven by my desire to bulk up my college resume. Little did I know this initial step would set the course for a connection that would span over eight years, touching countless lives and shaping my own in ways I never could have imagined. More than one third of my life has been spent working at the Boys and Girls Club, and I am so blessed to have been able to contribute and impact. During my tenure here, I have worked at six sites, subbed at the other three, and worked my way through every position to become the youngest director in our area's history. Tonight, as we gather in celebration, thank you. Tonight, as we gather in celebration, I want to share with you a couple of stories that exemplify the transformative impact that we have on the children we serve. A few years ago, I had the pleasure of meeting a remarkable young member at the Catlin Club. This member is on the autism spectrum, and his story of growth and connection reflect the power of this organization. When he and his adopted mother first walked through our doors, they carried with them both hopes and apprehensions. His mother confided in me about the challenges her son faced at school and how he always had to have a paraprofessional aide by his side. She yearned for him to connect with peers beyond the confines of the classroom. Despite her initial reservations, she sensed that our club could provide the nurturing and safe environment her son needed to take the leap of independence. We, went out, we embarked on this journey together, navigating his needs and accommodations, and quickly a home began to form within the walls of the club. After his 10-day pass ran out, his mom decided to invest in a monthly membership. Over the following weeks, he became a regular attendee, attending almost every single day of the week. I had the privilege of witnessing his incredible transformation. This student, once reliant on constant support, blossomed into a strong, social, and confident sixth grader. <coughs> he built meaningful relationships with his peers and forged connections that extend beyond the club. As my time at that site came to an end, his mom gave me a hug that spoke volumes. She shared that the Boys and Girls Club had become her son's sanctuary, his favorite place to be, and most importantly, a haven for him to simply be himself. To further demonstrate the scope of our impact, I want to share one more story with you all tonight. Last summer, I had the opportunity to support a foster family of three children between the ages of five and seven. These young kids had endured an unsafe environment at home while being exposed to horrific abuse, and their grandmother courageously stepped in to provide them with the safety and love they deserved. The grandmother, filled with a mix of nervousness and desperation, expressed to me her need for immense financial assistance to be able to provide her grandchildren with a fun and safe summer. We welcomed them into our Boys and Girls Club family, and for the entire duration of summer, they became an integral part of our community. Day after day, the children immersed themselves in the enriching experiences we offer. They embarked on field trips that fueled their curiosity and widened their horizon. They explored exhibits at the California Science Center, were enchanted by live theater through Cinderella, and even experienced the simple delight of gliding across West Lake Lake on boats. We showed these children care and compassion through their moments of distress. We embraced them as they formed bonds with our dedicated staff, bonds built on trust and understanding. As the summer ended, the grandmother presented me with a simple yet heartfelt gift, a homemade ceramic piece from her village in Mexico. This token of appreciation now sits on my desk, a constant reminder of the impact we made together during my time at the Boys and Girls Club. This story is not an isolated incident, but rather a reflection of the countless lives touched by this organization. The Boys and Girls Club of the Greater Conejo Valley does not just offer programs. It extends a lifeline to those who need it most, providing safety, nourishment, education, and most importantly, a sense of belonging. I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the vital role this organization has played in shaping my own education and career. 
Because of the experiences and skills I gained here, I found the inspiration to pursue an advanced degree in school psychology at Loyola Marymount University. When I approached Leslie to write me this letter of recommendation, I was overcome with gratitude, remembering the very first letter she wrote me when I gained admission to the University of Wisconsin for my undergraduate studies. Go Badgers! <laughs> These letters symbolize the continuous support, mentorship, and belief in my potential that this organization embodies. As I embark on this new chapter, I'm reminded of the colleagues I've met, the children I've had the privilege to impact, and those that have left an eternal mark on me. The bonds we've formed, the lessons we've learned, and the growth we've experienced together are immeasurable treasures. In closing, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you. Your generosity guarantees that children will have a home away from home after school where they feel safe, play, and learn. Your presence here tonight is a tribute to your belief in the power of education and mentorship. We truly cannot accomplish what we do at our clubs without your support. As we enjoy the evening tonight, I invite you to consider these stories that I have shared as a testament to the differences you can make. Your support is a direct investment in every child who walks through our doors. Together, we can create a legacy of empowerment and opportunity that will last for generations to come. Thank you. Yeah.